Hello and welcome. This is the first video in our Canva beginner series. I'm putting this series together for those of you that are completely brand new to Canva and I want to help you get more familiar and comfortable within the platform. So for the very first video, we are starting off with text and font styles. So this is all about just using the basics that we need to, to help you understand where you can find things more easily. So follow along with me. The template that I'm going to be showing you is available. The link is in the description. Um, so go and open that one up in Canva and then meet me back in Canva and we will do this together. So here we are when we open up our template, we have a series of five pages and these are each page is going to be a task. Um, so let's just jump straight in. So task one, I want you to write something. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to be adding a text box into our, into our Canva uh, square. And then from there, then we're going to progress on to do some other things with our, with our text. But to put our text on, what we are doing is we are going across to our black navigation panel that falls along our right hand side here. And we are going to the third one down that says text. So when we click that, it's going to open up, uh, expand out our navigation a little bit more. And then what we are doing is we are just clicking this head, heading uh, button here. So when we click that button, what it does is Campbell will put the word heading in the middle of your canvas. So from here, I just want you to type your name. There we are. And that's exercise one done. That's writing something. So when we scroll down, we are going to be able to move on to our task number two, which is changing our text size. So I have the word here or the quote here, to travel is to live. So what we are going to do is we're going to increase and then decrease the font size. So the way that we increase, so we're going to, uh, one, increase the size of the below travel quote to font size 80. So to increase this to a size of 80, we're going to click, which is going to um, select the text and put a purple outline around it. And then to increase the size, we're going to come up the top here to uh, where it says 50. This is uh, the font size. So it's telling me the font size is 50 and we want to increase it to 80. So you can either hit the little plus button here or you can just click and then using your keyboard, just type in 80 and hit enter. So this is going to increase the font size to 80. Now, now that we've increased it, let's decrease it. So let's decrease the font size to 40. So if we click off that, we're going to click on our text again, and then we're gonna again come up to our font size in our top navigation, and we are either going to use the little minus button or we're going to highlight and just type 40 on our keyboard and then hit enter. And that is exercise two, changing our text size. Now, if we scroll down and go to task three. So this one is changing the font styles. So changing the font styles is where you get to be fun and do all of the creative side of things in Canva. So this is getting a little taste for it. So we'll go through some basics and then I've got some optional exercises if you feel like doing a little bit extra. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to change the below travel quote to the font style alter. So to do that, again, we are going to come to the text itself and we're going to click on it. Now that's going to highlight it and open up our navigation for our text a little bit more. So where we were in the top navigation panel, off to the side, we have the word now. So this is the font style. So if we click on this little arrow to drop down the box, it's going to open up our side navigation panel more. Now to type in a specific font style name, such as Alter, what we do is in this uh, this new navigation that, that's come up, we've got font and text styles, but then underneath it, we've got this little search. So if we click in here and we type the word Alta, A-L-T-A, it will show us this text here, Alta. So we click this 
And then what that automatically does is that changes the text style. So that is what Alter looks like. So then number two, change the font style back to now. So now is what the font style was when we first started. So to do that, we're going to click or just make sure that our text has the purple box around it. We're going to come back up to our font style and we're going to click the drop down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clear our search here. So we're going to hit this little crossbar and then we can either click the, the back button or we can type in now. But if we click the back button, what it'll do is it'll show us the document fonts. So we've got now already in our document, which is um, this text style up the top here. So we can click that one and that is going to change it back to now. So we're on to number three, which is our optional change to a script font. So this is, um, if you're feeling like playing around with your font styles a little bit more, you can follow along and add these optional, uh, do the, these optional exercises with me. So the script fonts, I really like the script fonts. These are more of your cursive, your handwriting sort of styles. So what we'll do is to change to a script font. Now, a script font isn't a particular uh, isn't a particular font. It's it's a general style category. So to have a look at all of the fonts that are uh, listed as a script font, we are again making sure that our text has the purple box around it, and then in the search bar where it says try calligraphy or open sans, we are just going to type in script and hit enter. And then it is just going to show us everything that has script. So you can see that um, here I am in the free account. So these ones that have the little uh, gold crown indicate that they're pro styles, which means that we can't use them in the free account. So for the free, we've got all of these ones that are here in black. Um, so there is, if you scroll down, there's a lot of different ones that you can choose. So if you just click any of these, you see it's changed the text. So that's, uh, Olio. And then if we scroll down, there's, there's a lot to pick from. So you can have a bit of a, um, of a play around just by scrolling down and just clicking, uh, Adam script, cloud script. So any any script basically, um, you just have having a bit of a scroll through uh, Magnolia script. That one's quite nice too. Um, so just picking one that you like, and then our next exercise. So uh, number four option is to change to a corporate font. So this is again corporate font is not uh, is not the name of a single font. It's a series of fonts. And it's a little bit of a different way that you can search for a font style. So to do that, what we are going to do is we're going to clear our search up the top here. So we're just going to hit this little cross. And then it's going to take us back to, I guess, more of a home sort of navigation for our font. So you can see underneath our search, we've got these words in, in the boxes. So it's handwriting, corporate, display. If we click the arrow across, we've got paragraph. There's, there's a whole lot of different ones that you can have a look at, rounded, modern, bold. Um, but for the exercise, we're going to have a look at a corporate font. So if we hit corporate, it is going to show us everything that it deems to be in this corporate sort of style. So, um, and again, you're just clicking any, any of the ones that, that you like. Um, so just going down the list, just clicking and you can um, change to a corporate font. So that is how we go about changing the font styles. So that's task three. And if we move down, so again, guys, remember, you can pause this, you can come back to it, um, you can rewind and watch it as many times as you like, but the intention is that you are um, going to do these exercises and follow along with me because Again, learning is often doing, so uh, it's the easiest way to pick things up when you're actually doing them yourself. So if we move on to task four, this one is changing the text color. So our text at the moment is black. So it's to travel is to live is in black. 
So let's change the color. So again, we are going to click on our, our quote here to travel is to live. And then it's going to bring up our options in our top navigation. So beside our, um, our font size, we have this little A that has like a little rainbow bar underneath it. So if we click this little A, it is going to give us our color options. So we've got uh, the document colors. If we've added a brand kit, uh, so brand kit is a little bit more advanced. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then underneath, we've got these default colors. So the default colors are typically quite bright and there isn't a lot of them. But for uh, this exercise, we are just going to use the default color. So you can just pick any one of these. So I'm going to go this, this violet color. And then you can see it's changed the text color. So that is, um, that's the easy way to change it. If you want to get into a more customizable color or if you have hex codes, then the way that you can look for an alternative color or a more specific color is in this menu. If we come back and we go up to this document colors, we have this little plus uh, with a rainbow around it. If we click on that, that gives us, again, it gives us the uh, like a shade, like a gradient sort of um, box that, that, that we can choose colors from in here. So we can just click and just move our move our cursor anywhere around here and you can see it's actually changing the color of our um, of our text as well and then we also have the option that we can move anywhere within this rainbow uh, this rainbow line here as well so if we wanted something more red we just click on the red shade and then we can just move our cursor around in the box but that is a little bit more advanced but that is the way that you find your custom colors or if you click in this box here you can add the hex codes but again that is a little bit more advanced and for the beginner series you can definitely just if we click off that um, stick to any of these default colors down here there is um, there is enough of a variety to be able to um, have a play around with so we've got this sky blue um, we can have a look at this turquoise color uh, we've got yellow so there is um, there is a lot of colors in here that you can play with so we'll move on to our optional two exercise and this one is bolding our text which means that obviously when something is bolded, typically the color comes through a little bit easier, especially on a white background. So to bold or to find the bold button, we are again coming to the top of our navigation and we are hitting this B button. So the B bolds our text. So that one's really easy. And then our lucky last is uh, task five. So this one is a little bit more advanced, but I feel that something, especially if you're in your templates and you're playing around with things, this is about changing the position. So uh, we'll start with our really basic, which is changing the alignment. So typically in a Word, in a Word document or any document, you'll have your right, your left, and your center for your text alignment. So I'll just show you where you can find those. So again, if we click on our text, uh, our quote to love uh, to travel is to live, and then our alignment is up the top in our navigation, and it's almost in the center, but it's the the, the three uh, the four lines. So if we click that, we are changing the alignment. So you've got your um, your your center, your right, your left, and your your um, more centered um, alignment. So that's just where you go to find those. Uh, number two is changing the text angle. So what I mean by the angle is that sometimes you might want to slightly slant your text. And the way that we do that is, again, if we click on it and make sure that, that we've got our purple uh, button, we have this move, which is the four directional arrow, which allows us to move our text up and down, left to right on our, um, on our canvas. But to actually change the angle and make it slant, we're using this 
uh, it's two arrows that are circling around each other, almost like a recycling sort of uh, symbol, but we're just tilting. So we're just clicking and dragging either left or right, and we're just changing the angle. So if you wanted to, say, go to a 90 degree, then you can do that. So that's what I mean by changing the text angle. So it's using this little circle um, arrows that are making a circle to change the angle. And zero puts it back to straight. And then our optional, um, we're going to look at adding a shadow effect. So the effects can be a really fun thing to make the text pop out a little bit more. And the way that, that we find those is, again, when our text is highlighted with our purple uh, with our purple box around it. We come up the top to our navigation and moving along the beside the alignment, we've got bullets, but here we've got the word effect. So if we click on that, it gives us a navigation that pops open on the side. And if we look for shadow, so the word shadow, if we click on that, you can see it adds a bit of a shadow. And then there's um, other ones that you can play with. So we've got lift, hollow, splice. So you can click on any of those, glitch. So there, there's a few uh, fun options that you can play with in that. And then our optional four is to add a curve. So if you wanted to add a curve, uh, let's put our uh, take our effect off and go back to none. And to add a curve, we are just having a look down a little bit further. So up the top, we've got style. If we have a look further down towards the bottom of the page in this open navigation on the side, it's got shape. It says none or curve. So if we click curve, you can see it puts our text into, uh, into a half semicircle. And if we scroll down a little bit more, you can actually see the degree of the curve. So at the moment, it's set at 78. So this is all the way down the bottom on the right-hand side. If we um, click this circle and we drag it towards the center, you see it opens up the curve and makes it larger. Or if we drag it back, we can make it to 100, which is almost a full circle. So we just need a little bit more text there to create the full circle. Um, but that is adding a curve to our text. So that is it. That is the end of our first beginner series in Canva. I hope that you have found this useful. And by going through these exercises, my intention is that you become more comfortable in Canva. But please, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm always interested to get some feedback as to what uh, the community would like to see in Canva, what you guys are struggling with and what you would like to learn more of. So you are welcome to uh, send me an email and let me know your feedback if you watch this. But otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.